argument of federalism is to empower the lower levels of government, particularly the regional level, especially in cases when regions would have distinct uh, needs that uh, a national level of government, a very centralized level, uh, a very centralized kind of government, may not be able to see. And therefore, through federalism, we will uh, let these voices, if you may, be heard. There are reasons why, why some uh, nation states opt for federalism. Uh, some of the reasons include preservation of differences in identities. Um, identities can be in terms of ethnicity, uh, culture, uh, religion, and other differences. From ano, yung mga studies, ang, ang advantage daw ng, ano, ng federalism, uh, you recognize diversity uh, in unity. So, ang ano doon, uh, nagkakaroon ng recognition ng uh, autonomy and uh, parang unique uh, parang states. Uh, for example, um, the identity of the Bicolanos, I, I think it's very strong. And under a federal system, you can have uh, the Bicolanos ruled by Bicolanos in a Bicolano way, if there's such a thing. So in the same way with Calabarzon, the Tagalogs, or the Cebuanos, or the Mindanaoans, the Northern Mindanaoans, etc., etc. So I think that's one thing positive about federalism, that we uh, highlight these regional identities, these differences, that is, uh, in our context as a Philippine society, is very apparent. For practical purposes or efficiency purposes, some of the reasons for choosing federal systems is of, uh, are, of course, when territories are too big, it's difficult to govern everything from the center. So it's really practical to deliver, you can deliver services uh, theoretically much faster if the authority is uh, at a lower level. Of course, from the perspective of democracy, if you law, uh, if uh, you have uh, a federal setup, theoretically the understanding is that uh, people can participate more directly when uh, government is closer to them. Under federalism, no, you distribute sovereignty. So if I am a regional government, I have a certain level of sovereignty over my region. And therefore, whatever the regional government decides for its region is uh, something that the national or the federal level cannot just set aside. In the present situation, we have recognized the parang unique conditions of our administrative regions. Uh, so literature, sinasabi yan, yung asymmetric federalism. It uh, recognizes that there may be some territories that require more autonomy. Uh, it may be because of historical and cultural reasons. It can also be because economically they are more capable compared to other regions. So there are more powers and responsibilities given to them. Under a federal form of government, there is a substantial uh, area where they can really move and freely decide according to what they think is best for their uh, local citizens. When you give enough powers to, to the regional governments or the state governments, they can experiment with at least in their area and as long as nobody will complain that it's constitu unconstitutional or it violates the, the, the rules of the union, then you can experiment with the party system, uh, you can have uh, variations in terms of electoral systems, the party system, you can also uh, think about possible taxation schemes. So you can you have you there's space for more innovations.